Hey, what's going on, guys? I've been invested in another review. This time, the Mezco Fall Exclusive Bodega Gomez. Um, I'm gonna get into this. I'm gonna give my honest opinion on it. It comes with a lot of stuff, so I'm just gonna briefly go through that. You can see the box. A lot of different animations on here. The pink skulls, Gomez, all that. Um, for me, getting the box open was kind of tricky at first, but it opens this way. And then you get a big poster of Gomez, if you guys can see that. And just briefly going through this, he comes with a bat and then a coin. He comes with a pizza box, as you can see. Pizza there. You can take the one slice out. Comes with a bunch of stickers, a comic book, and the um, Captain America Returns style Avengers book stickers and he comes with a mezzet and then actually looking at the box itself you can see it there getting this uh it's actually kind of heavy not gonna lie and you can see the hazard squad and i've already taken them to figure it out but you can see everything in here i'm not gonna go too crazy into this because i know that those like other parts you can add to this. It's a cardboard box. Not gonna go too crazy. See the figure inside, which I don't have at the moment. Then you can take this part out. And it comes with all these pieces you can add to it. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. Like I said, I'm not gonna add all this at the moment. I'm not really into it. But it comes with stickers and whatnot. So yeah, let's get into the figure itself. I forgot to mention, it comes with its, it's not related to Gomez, it's, it's like its own separate weapons pack. So, um, if you want to use this for other figures, it's pretty much meant for other figures or Gomez or whatever you want to use. I'll take a closer look at it in a second. So let's talk about the weapons pack real quick. Again, this is not specifically for Gomez, it could be used for any Mezco figure you have. There's a rifle. These actually don't come with the muzzle effect, which I found pretty strange. Rumble clip, you get an extra one. Here's uh, another rifle, which I actually do like. Again, removable clip, you get another one. And then he comes with this, um, like, I don't know what you would call this, a gun. And the, the, um, the barrel moves. Um, so that's pretty cool. This came with uh, the Mezco cable, if I'm not mistaken. And then he comes with the chest, which is almost exactly the same as John Wick, except it's um, green. Put the gun in there. And then he comes with other weapons comes with two of these pistols and he comes with two of these pistols which is what came with John Wick the, the um, doesn't cock back or anything like that no, no removable clip but still pretty cool and you get this sword I don't even know if you call this a knife a sword and he comes with four of these grenades And it comes with the grapple hook. Goldman's comes with three interchangeable heads. First starting off with this other head where he is angry. And this is a separate piece where it's a magnet and all the antennas move and whatnot. He comes with this regular standard head. And he comes with this other head where he's kind of smiling. And this one lights up. This one, uh, you have to push the button for it to light up. It doesn't like light up on its own or whatever or stay on so you have to continuously hold the button. That's pretty cool. He comes with two pigeons. This one's about to start flying and this one is just in a regular relaxed position. Taking a look at the hands Gomez comes with. He comes with two open hands. Get that in focus there. There we go. And he comes with two fists. And I don't know what you would call it. It's more like a trigger finger holding hand. It comes with a couple of these. Here's one. And then here's two for the left hand, it looks like. They look kind of different, as you can see. And it comes with the pointer finger. It comes with another one. The other one, there was two of them, like two pointing fingers. Get that in focus there. And then he comes with this 
hand all those grenades and whatnot. And then he comes with two open hands to actually hold something. Get that in focus there. He comes with his hand to actually hold a rifle. And he comes with the middle finger. Taking a look at his kind of his uh, weirder accessories, he comes with this uh, boom box. It's supposed to, I think it's called Boom Boom, if I'm not mistaken. And these open up. Uh, let me see how to open it. I think it's. You have to open it from this way, I think. Come on, man. There you go. And then this one is this way. So it's like a computer in there. That's pretty cool. And then this. Uh, attaches to this over here this is like kind of like a communicator so you can attach it here and then attach well you guys get the point let me just attach this on there so it's supposed to connect to his wrist and then that connects like that and then for the same wrist communicator, he comes with this um, hologram. Then, like he's talking into the device. And then, it can also be a grappling hook. Or it could be a zip line. And then here's the actual uh, zip line. Let me give you guys a closer look at the wrist communicator he has on. So again, here's a hologram. And I'll see the other way. Yeah, you can see he's like talking into like a wrist device. And here's the like grapple hook. And there's kind of like a scope in there so we can look at. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. That's a pretty cool accessory. So with all that out of the way, let's get into the actual figure itself. Do I like it? Do I hate it? Let's talk about it. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. Uh, he actually does come with a little more accessories, so I'm going to get into that um, when I'm actually talking about the figure. But just taking a closer look at it, looks cool. like this little suit he's got on, this little sweater vest, the pants, military pants. These move like up and down. It's supposed to be like at the um, thigh area, but it keeps moving down to the shin. These boots look pretty cool. And then... Here's another accessory he comes with. He comes with like this, um, what do you call this, like armband, and then he has these grenades in there, two of them. Uh, let me take this out. And they have a smile face on there. So that's pretty cool. I actually find that pretty entertaining. He also comes with a knife on the back. You can take it out. It's pretty cool. Cool looking knife. And he also comes with this pistol. That's pretty cool. And it looks like you can actually add a muzzle effect in there. So that's nice. And looking at this uh, shoulder pad he's got on. Cool looking figure, I'm not going to lie. Very lo cool looking figure. Nice stature, skinny looking. It's a cockroach and it's their uh, mascot, Mezcos. So pretty cool looking G for Gomez when I first got this figure the belt kept coming off because it wasn't actually attached but I found a way to attach that and I kind of had to like move it up so instead of it being down here like an actual belt I had to move it towards his stomach so it is what it is but yeah cool looking figure now as far as the articulation the head is moved like I said the head moves back really far so that's nice moves down really far side to side left and right all that good stuff arms back and forth up and down he has a butterfly joint, with the bicep, double joint at the elbow, wrist moves side to side, hinges up and down, nice deep ab crunch, it's back pretty far, the sheath on the back is articulated so if you wanted to have it, either way you can do that, he has a waist swivel, diaphragm swivel, leg moves forward back and out, with the thigh, double joint at the knee, no boot swivel, the foot moves up and down, and he has a little bit of ankle pivot. So good articulation. It's more of like a Spider-Man body mold, if I'm not mistaken. So you can get him in like those like really agile poses and whatnot. So here's a quick size comparison. Here he's next to the Mesco Black Bolt. You can see he's a pretty tall figure. Um, yeah, obviously with a roach head, 
he's pretty big and if you didn't want to have a Mezco Gomez you can just do like a regular guy here it is with Tony Stark and you can see obviously if you hide the the roach skin or whatever you can see he's just a regular guy he has gloves on so it could work but yeah just want to give you guys more options so that's the Mezco Gomez how do I feel about this figure $160 with shipping um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys I don't know why I bought this figure um, I feel with this figure specifically and and mezco's i feel like a lot of them are hyped up especially with gomez you um the way mezco does it is they only release so many and then um they have it on their website if you get it you get it and then when you know when people get it you know um if they were able to get it they'll scalp it raffle it whatever and the figure goes up on the secondary market so that's why this figure has been kind of hyped up not just this figure but just gomez in general like all the other versions of gomez they're hyped up because they've been scalped like crazy um and i feel like that feeds into the hype so me getting this figure was part of that so i just wanted to you know see it in hand i've seen it many times on different people's channels you know reviews and whatnot toy photography uh do i like the figure he's a cool figure he's a really cool figure but i don't know why i bought it i don't hate it i don't like it either if that makes sense um do I want to sell it? I don't know. I really don't know yet. He, you guys know my, my my taste. I love Marvel. I love Batman. Um, and that's pretty much what I stick to with Mezco. So me buying this, I don't know why I really bought it. It's a really cool looking figure and everything, but I don't know why I bought this figure. It, it was really expensive. I think it was like an $80 figure or like a $70, $90 figure. I'll be like, okay, he's a really nice figure. But for $160, all this is just, to me, it's not really worth it. Um, again, I don't know if I'm going to sell it. I really don't want to because, again, it feeds into the hype. I own it. I have it. At least I can say I have it, but uh, I don't know why I bought it. So, if you like it, you like it. If you can get it, get it. Don't feed into the hype. Uh, don't, you know, enter any, like, crazy raffles or any crazy scalping prices or anything like that. It's a, if you get it, you get it. So, that's how I feel about it. If you guys enjoy, please feel to subscribe. And I'll catch you later. Peace.